All right, let's have some fun this week. Um, I'm going to go over some supplies that you guys can use, and we'll hopefully have them readily available to you. This is your normal pencil sharpener, and the problem with this is that these pencils don't fit. See? So, see, they don't fit. Um, but these pencils do. This is a graphite pencil, and these pencils go from H to B. I think we've gone over this, but we'll do it again. H stands for hard, or B stands for soft. This is a 6B which means it's very soft. So a B is in the middle, HB is in the middle, then it goes B is soft, then it goes 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B is very soft. And this does fit in the pencil sharpener. So in this case, we're all right. Um, H stands for hard, and so you'll go, you know, HB is in the middle, H, uh, 2H, 3H, 4H. When you start getting into 6, 7, 8, be careful because those can be perceived as weapons and they may not allow you to get on the plane with them which means I'll make you take it away and then you know it'll be expensive. Um, this is a Prismacolor pencil. It's a wonderful pencil. They're very similar to the cart to any of the colored pencil and what it is is it's pigment and wax okay and they just come in one softness but they're a lot of fun. Um, this is a kneaded eraser um, in the old days, they used to call them uh, kneaded rubbers, which I thought was kind of awkward uh, because, you know, I was an active youth. How do you use this? Could you imagine a moment of passion and say, hold on, let me pull out my rubber. So, I don't know. I can't figure that one out. Um, but uh, you can definitely use it for erasing, so it's a very important tool. Um, this one here is Conti which would be similar to your, uh, your charcoal. And this is a razor blade, which is very sharp. Uh, that's why they call it a razor blade. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your thumb for your, your motor, and you're going to use your other hand for your steering wheel. See? And what you're going to do is you're going to push and sharpen your pencil. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of as much of the wood as you can. Now, the people who make these things... They're, um, they're kind of sadistic who make these pencils because they take the softest Conti or the softest lead or the softest charcoal and they put the hardest darn wood on the planet around it so that you can, when you're sharpening this, you actually break what's underneath the wood, which is what you want to be drawing with. And it really pisses me off. So I'd love to meet them and show them my razor blade. Hey, guys, you're pissing me off. All right, but then I don't meet them, so then I'm okay. You want to get a nice angle happening with this razor blade here. Okay, come on down. Then just lightly run the razor blade over down the wood and turn your pencil, and you'll get a nice, nice sharp edge. No need for sandpaper pads and all that kind. We can actually get this sharper than a pencil sharpener. We also get this nice dark uh, feeling here on your pen, your, pen, your finger. In the old days, they used to rob, you know, when they would rob the graves, they always knew they were coming across an artist because they had that dark finger. Ooh. See? Is that not cool? Okay, see how sharp that is? All right, let me show you some more stuff to play with this week. Okay, take your pencil, pick it up with these fingers. It's real important, okay? So what that will do is it will allow you to pull the pencil, all right? And um, let's turn on another light here. Okay. Oh, we were missing that. Okay. Let's get you guys a nice light. I have a very sophisticated light system here. It's just called four lights. What you can do is you can pull the pencil. So you get that really beautiful line. See, it's really cool. See. So do this a million billion times. 
Then if you want to get that curve, then turn the pencil. You can also do this by pushing the pencil. Okay, try that while I adjust my lights. That's better. Now, when you draw, draw from your shoulder and do not just draw hard. Draw and sneak up. So I used to do, I used to have to turn these drawings in every week to my teacher when I was just a little kid. You know, like 13, 14 years old. So this week, massive amounts of circles. Now, this is not required because we're not going to be going to your home and, you know, forcing you. And, uh, you know, most likely not going to be having you send it in. But we'll know, you'll know you're doing it. Okay, and then what you can do is you can take this pencil and run it around. takes lots of practice. See how that works? Okay. So try it again. Try it on a little one. You gotta really get in there. Can you see? Go closer. Run this pencil around. Don't be afraid to turn the paper. It's hard. It's really hard. Okay. Um, let's do something else. I'll show you. Okay. Let's say we're going to do a box. You know, nice and loose. Keep all the land super loose, like we're talking about, you know, like that. Then go from dot to dot, dot to dot. So I want you to practice this this way. Then pull the line down towards the other dot. Just look at the other dot. See? So you can turn the page. Dot, 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 dot. You can pull up too. Just push. Isn't that fun? Dot, dot, dot. Look where you want the pencil to go. Okay? So do this a million, billion times this week. Cool? Let's just keep going. The, um, going back to the circle. Draw around that line and then come in over the form like that. These are all exercises that I want you to do every day. Now the fun part is, and Corey wanted me to make this really clear, um, most students don't do it. You tell them to, they won't do it. So if you just do this, you're going to be ahead of the game. All right? See that? Isn't that cool? Do a bunch of these. Down, turn. Try to get them as even as you can. Real pretty. Just try to emulate, you know, do the same one over and over and over again. Every day. You don't get a body like mine without eating chocolate every day. And you're not going to learn to be a good artist unless you do this every day. Now let's do this. Let's just draw just an obscure shape. Okay. Now the trick is you have to come in and draw around that shape. Isn't that fun? Oh, it's so cool.
Look at that really cool, thick and thin. You know what that looks like? You can make cartoon characters. Now practice working in multiple colors. Let's close our eyes. Do another shape, something like that. They start to look the same. Okay, and uh, you know, just be as loose as you can. Then you can come back in and put in your lines, but being able to control that pencil is the real important thing. Now if you're out there saying, but I work on a computer, I'm going to say whoopee whoopee, so do I. But I draw on a Cintiq, and I still get to control the tool. Okay, now try this, and draw over. There's your homework for this week. Don't forget, you can take your rubber and uh, wipe it out. It's a kneaded eraser. See you guys in a week.